Greetings, welcome to this new video about Norton's theorem. In this video, I will show you how to use Norton's theorem with an easy to follow example. By watching carefully, you will learn how to apply Norton's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's get started with the solve the problem number two. Let's consider this network consisting of five resistors labeled R1 through R5 as well as one independent voltage source Vs and one independent current source Is. The question now is to find the Norton's equivalent with respect to terminals A and B. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Norton's theorem between terminals A and B. We can replace this circuit with a current source in parallel with the resistor which will be denoted as IN and RN. I will start first with the determination of the Norton's resistance, RN. This step can be done by removing all independent sources in the circuit, which means the voltage Vs will be replaced by a short circuit and the current Is will be replaced by an open circuit. The Norton's resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. That means Rn is equal to the series combination of R2, R3 and R4 connected in, in parallel with the R5. Therefore, Rn can be calculated using the following formula. R2 plus R3 plus R4 times R5 over R2 plus R3, plus R4, plus R5. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain Rn is equal to 4 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Norton's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Norton's current In. The Norton current is basically the short circuit current calculated between terminals A and B. The resistance R5 is short-circuited, meaning no current flows through the resistor R5. To find the short-circuit current ISC, I will apply the mesh analysis method. It's evident that there are two meshes. This is, is mesh number 1 and this is, is mesh number 2. And I will consider IA is the current in mesh 1 and I two, IB is the current in mesh 2. In mesh 1 we can write IA is equal to IS. That means IA is equal to 2 amps. Now by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 2 we can write R2 times IB minus IA plus R3 times IB minus Vs plus R4 times IB is equal to 0. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 20 times IB minus 4 times IA minus 12 is equal to 0. Now by substituting 1 in 2, we derive one equation in terms of uh, IB. And if we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain IB is equal to 1 amp. And if we look here, the current ISC is equal to IB. That means the short circuit current ISC is equal to 1 amp. And we know that the Norton's current IN is the short circuit current calculated between terminals A and B. That means IN is equal to 1 amp. The Norton's equivalent with respect to terminals A and B is 1 amp current source in parallel with the 4 ohms resistor. After completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our Results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. 
Here is our Networks Drone in Spice Simulator. This is, is the original circuit, and this is, is the Norton's equivalent circuit between terminals A and B. I connected a, a load resistor between terminals A and B to both the original circuit and the, the Norton's equivalent circuit. And then I will simulate their behaviors. Let's move on to analysis. They say analysis calculate nodal voltage. We can see here that the voltage across the load resistor is equal to 1.33 volt. And the current through the load resistor is equal to 666.67 milliamps in the original circuit. And the voltage across the resistor, the load resistor. Uh, in the seven, uh, in the Norton's equivalent circuit is equal to 1.33 volt, and the current through the load resistor in the uh, Norton's equivalent circuit is equal to 666.67 milliamps. Through simulation, we can observe that the two circuits demonstrate identical behavior when we connect a load between terminals A and B. This outcome confirms the validation of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video about Norton's theorem. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,